Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mystery Toys, where I open up two blind box or two blind bag items and see what we get. Today we got something we haven't done in a little while. I don't even know if I ever did these as a Mystery Toys episode, but we're going to do it now. We got some Funko X-Men Mystery Minis, and I do believe, no. Are they not GameStop exclusive? I got them at GameStop. I guess they didn't have exclusives. All right, well, anyways, um, <laughs> let's take a look. Let's look around the box and see what we get. I don't know that I actually need that many of these. Uh, I think, for the most part, I'm still looking for the regular Wolverine, and I think I actually have everybody else. <laughs> but you know what? We're going on vacation. We're saving some money for, um, for Vegas, and these were on clearance, and I needed to buy a bunch of stuff, so... Uh, I thought, why not? I'll try one more time on these, but I don't think I'm ever going to buy any more of these until there's a new series. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Come on, Wolvie. Nope, Cyclops. Stupid old Scott Summers. Actually, this is a really nice one. I just have a bunch of it. This is actually one of my favorites from this series. I just think the pose is cool. Oh, the paint job on that one's pretty bad, though. Lots of little nicks and mishmashes there on the visor. Some chips out of the hair. Ugh. Oh my god, all kinds of paint flakes and, you know. Yeah, it's a really, really poor paint job on this one. Good thing I have plenty to choose from. I do like the bl bright yellows and blues of these X-Men ones, though. That's why I'd really like to find that normal uh, Wolverine. There might be some um, some other exclusives from somewhere that I'm missing, but as far as the commons go, I'm, I'm almost positive he's the only one I'm looking for still. All right, well, let's get into this next one, and let's see who this will be. Um, oh. Oh, weird. So this one is a GameStop exclusive. So I guess he just had them mixed in. I do not have Cable. I don't think I have Kitty Pride. And, of course, this is Brown Suit Wolverine. I feel like I have Brown Suit Wolverine, but I was looking for Blue Suit Wolverine. Well, if I paid a little bit more attention, um, <laughs> you know, we might have been in better shape. But what are you going to do? All right. Well, that's a fun surprise for me as well. All right. So let's see who we got in here. Come on. Come to Papa. All right. Ooh, got a big old head. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's Mystique. Yeah, that's Mystique. I definitely have her. Okay. But still, it's very cool. Um, that is a very unfortunate paint chip. Little, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. This is a very excited Mystique. Um, she's excited to be out of the box. I do like this particular mystery mini, but I have a couple. Um, but again, the face is really nice. The colors are good. I really like the contrast of the blue and the white. The skulls around the belt are very nice. Yeah, okay. All right. Other than the unfortunate piece of paint, uh, not bad. Not bad. Could be worse, I guess. They could have been the same ones. Would have been nice to get cable, but what you gonna do? All right, guys, what about you, though? Are you still buying these? Who else has exclusives? Which ones are you still looking for? What would you like to see in the next round of X-Men Mystery Minis? Um, Deadpool. <coughs> Deadpool. Um, but let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. Let me hear what you guys have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. You can give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.